The next muscle we'll be covering is your pectoralis major. Before we do the attachments of your pectoralis major, let's just do a quick review on the anatomy of the skeleton. So you get the breast bone or your sternum that is divided into the manubrium, the body, the zippy sternum or zipoid process. Then you get your clavicle, you get your sternal end and the chromial end. Sternal end articulates with the sternum at the sternoclavicular joint, articulates with the chromium process of the scapula at the acromioclavicular joint. When we look at the ribs, you get 12 pairs of ribs. Seven of those 12 pairs are true ribs, the rest are false ribs. Okay, they are true ribs because they've got individual costal cartilages to which they are, are attached to the sternum. Okay, so when we do the attachment of the pectoralis major muscle, it attaches to the medial aspect of the clavicle, the anterior aspect of the sternum, and it attaches to the upper six um, costal cartilages. Okay, from there, it runs to the humerus. Okay, when you look at the humerus, you get the head of the humerus that articulates in the sclenoid cavity, okay, at the glenohumeral joint. Then you get the um, lesser, lesser tubicle and the greater tubicle. Then you get something called the intertubercular groove that runs over here. Okay, you get a medial lip and a lateral lip. So the spectralis major muscle from this anterior chest, it runs laterally and it attaches to the lateral lip of the intertubercular groove of the humerus. Okay, the function of this muscle is flexion of the shoulder, extension of the shoulder, adduction, and medial rotation.